So you are Jennifer Lawrence's archery coach, which obviously, if anyone has seen the movie, they know that she's really good at the bow and arrow. She looks good with the bow and arrow. Yeah. Oh, she was good from the beginning. <laughs> what were the main things that she needed to know in order to look like she can actually well, be a good archer? Yes, I asked her, do me a three favor, hold your bow arm, which is hand, bring it to your face and always follow back. And everybody who will look at you will know that, oh, She's uh, from someone serious. <laughs> so when you watch her in the films, are you saying, okay, good, she's doing it perfectly? Uh, well, that was the first movie, real quiet, and the first moment, and she did great. That's what she did, it. first shot, and after that, uh, just going everywhere, but it was great. Special effects makeup artists create and use prosthetics and makeup in order to make an actor appear older, injured, as an alien, or as a monster. Glenn Hetrick earned a degree in public relations and promotions from York College of Pennsylvania. Mr. Hetrick has created makeup special effects for such projects as the television shows Crossing Jordan and Heroes. Hi, I'm Glenn Hetrick, special effects makeup artist. You're watching Made in Hollywood. You're watching a scene from Hunger Games Mocking J2. You should get some rest. You're still trying to protect me. Real or not real? Real. That's what you and I do. Do you work? often do you collaborate often with V and Nicoletta? Oh, absolutely. V and I will come up with some ideas when we look at a script, and then we'll run those by production. On every show, there's producers, writers, directors, and we take all those ideas and pull them together, and then Nicoletta and her apply all this stuff with an army of people on set, so it's a lot of moving parts. It's very collaborative. Our lives were never ours. They belong to Snow and our deaths do too. How many people work for you? It depends on the show. Uh, we have a core crew of about 15 people that always work with me. And then I'd say that we have an extended crew of about 60 people that those are the best artists in the world. And if they're not working for me, they're working at one of the other shops. And so we kind of just try to grab them when we can. The show comes in and you try to bring all the people back. And then there's always new people. So there's shows where we have 80 people, 100 people. There are sequences and the Mockingjay films where we built like a hundred and something burned bodies for the destruction sequences and there's shots where there's over 250 people in makeups and each makeup is comprised of three to five pieces and then that shoots over a course of three to four days so it's literally thousands of pieces of makeup so sometimes you, you walk through my studio and like I don't you just there's so many people you don't even know where to start but if you kill him Katniss if you end all of this, all those deaths, they mean something. Are there any other personal qualities or characteristics that you think young people need to succeed in this industry? I think that uh, humility is, is something that is, is sort of being phased out now. And, and that's, I understand that because the internet has sort of connected everyone. Everyone's always talking to each other and you kind of want to get there and you want to be heard. And you want people to know who you are and, and you go, I did this and I did that. And what I think the, a lot of young people don't understand, and I probably was guilty of this as well, is when you're approaching someone who has this huge resume and they're thinking about hiring people, they really don't want to hear, I can do this and I can do it. You, you're better off showing them. So I think you have a better chance of landing a job through showing your passion and your humility and your willingness to learn than you do by showing them some basic work that you were working on. Let's make it count. And everyone kind of is looking for this magic bullet answer. And what school do we go to to become a makeup artist? There are great makeup schools out there today that didn't exist when I was learning. Even more so, there's great learning tools online. Like you don't even have to leave your house. You can just watch streaming videos and learn from the best people on earth, which blows my mind because we had figured out in a basement, you know. But it's always the same answer: first, learn fundamental art. So many people make the mistake of not becoming artists first. Effects is a discipline. And so many people love the creatures or, or whatever it is, but they don't learn to be the artist that they can be first. So it takes a long time to learn how to draw, to learn how to paint, to learn how to sculpt. So color theory and anatomy are fundamental to being a good artist, period. And without them, 
You can't be a great makeup artist. You can learn to glue stuff on or throw blood at it, but you can't learn to become a great artist. So I encourage heavily anyone who's interested in the arts to learn your fundamental art first. You can do that in grade school through high school. You can do it in community college. You can learn on your own and then focus on special effects makeup.